Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo from Click. In this video, I will walk you through the ClickSense desktop interface so you can become more familiar with its orientation and navigation model when using and creating ClickSense apps. After starting ClickSense Desktop, you will see the main page known as the Desktop Hub. In the Desktop Hub, you simply browse, create, and delete apps, as well as organize their view. You can choose to sort apps alphabetically or view them in a list or grid. Clicking on an app brings you into the app's overview page where you can view and edit its properties such as its title, description, and image thumbnail. In the app's overview page, in the middle left, you can also see a section that contains the sheets, bookmarks, and stories for that app. Sheets are design layouts that contain chart and selection objects as well as text and images. There can be more than one sheet in an app. Bookmarks contain the save selection state of all applied filters for the app that they are defined in. One can quickly jump to a predefined selection state by simply selecting a bookmark from the list. Stories contain point-in-time snapshots of chart objects that have been arranged in a view fit for presentation and collaboration. Stories are very similar to that of a PowerPoint. They are very useful in presenting one's findings to an audience, sparking discussion, and are useful for an overall communication tool. Let's create a new sheet so you can now see the design interface. When creating a new sheet, you can add a title and a description for that sheet. When accessing the sheet, by default it is blank and in view mode. The edit icon in the upper right enables edit mode so you can begin creating visualizations and designing your layout. Across the top in the main toolbar area are your navigation buttons. On the upper left, these buttons allow you to save your app, jump back to the hub, return to the app overview page, view your data model, as well as access the data load editor and the quick data load interfaces. On the upper right, you can view or edit your app, create or launch bookmarks for the current or saved selection states, jump to storytelling to create or view a story, and move to another sheet within the app. On the left, you have three panels separated by tabs, one for chart objects, one for field list, and one for master library of items. Chart objects are simply used to visualize your data in a variety of forms. Each chart object is used for a specific purpose pertaining to your data. For example, bar and pie charts are great for category comparisons, while line charts are great for viewing metrics over time. The field list contains all of the fields from your data load. Right-clicking on a field allows you to add it to a reusable list of items defined by measures or dimensions found in your master items. Master items contain the most commonly used dimensions, measures, expressions, and visualization objects that have been already defined, making it easier to reuse and create content. To use a chart object, you simply grab the item and drop it onto the canvas. Each chart object has buttons defined in the middle, which allows you to quickly select initial fields or your previously defined dimensions and measures. If multiple fields are needed for the chart, simply switch to the fields list and drag and drop the appropriate field on top of the object. A chart object's title can be edited in line by clicking on the title placeholder and typing the desired text. On the right side, there is an accordion style property panel for the selected object. The property panel sections will vary depending on the object. At a minimum, each object property panel has a section for dimensions, measures, sorting, and appearance. Appearance and presentation properties will differ depending on the type of chart used and its configuration. If a chart object has been configured to your liking, you can drag it over to the master items list to be used again in another sheet within the same app. This enables you and others with access to this app to reuse predefined chart objects reducing development time. Objects that are defined in the master items list and then used in sheets are referred to as linked objects. Note that linked visualizations can no longer be edited unless they are manually unlinked by using the chain icon or by right-clicking the object and selecting Unlink Visualization. Finally, across the bottom is what I call the Productivity Toolbar. It enables quick access to the most commonly used actions such as Redo, Undo, Cut, Paste, Delete, as well as Show and Hide for the design panels above. Note that some of these actions can also be performed by right-clicking on the chart object. This concludes the navigation and orientation video for ClickSense Desktop. To learn more about ClickSense, I encourage you to review the other materials available in this series and join the conversation on the Click community.